So as we're, as we're gathering uh, this evening, today, uh, wherever you are, no, again, another welcome. Uh, and just to say that one of the benefits of getting together in a group in person, uh, and one of the reasons why many people feel when they meet in a group uh, that their meditation experience goes deeper in the group than at home is that when you're in a group, you tend to hold yourself more accountable. It's sort of like there are other people that are around. And even if you're practicing and meditating with your eyes closed, there's a real sense that other people are there. Uh, and it, it just helps you to concentrate a little and pay attention a little bit more. Uh, and so when we meet in this sort of virtual world, there's obviously the opportunity to have uh, your video off or on, and, you, and you're very welcome to do either. But just consider that it is actually um, creating more of that atmosphere of a uh, an in-person type group if you leave your camera on. And it might help you to actually uh, focus a little more, to, to uh, concentrate a little more. And that might in turn help you to have uh, a somewhat deeper experience in the actual practice. So having said that, uh, it's my pleasure again to introduce uh, Murray Patterson. And uh, Murray, many of you have done um, some practice with before. And uh, Murray uh, comes from a long uh, history of his own personal practice, uh, which we, he was introduced to through his his mother, courtesy of his father, and he might want to tell you a little bit more about that story again for those who haven't uh, heard it. Um, but Murray's also been very active in the corporate world. Uh, he had a senior position at Freehills, the uh, big solicitors uh, firm uh, based, uh, based here in Melbourne, and that's where he, he worked from. Uh, and he's done a lot of um, corporate coaching as well, uh, as well as taking mindfulness uh, into the uh, corporate workplace. And I, I must say, he's a delight to work with. Uh, uh, it's, now this is a serious fact. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about uh, this work with Alleviate is that through the uh, mentor group that we've established, we've just got a wonderful bunch of people. And uh, those of you who've actually been mentored or know from personal experience uh, what I'm uh, talking about, uh, but Murray really is quite uh, exceptional in his capacity to help other people with their meditation practice. And uh, tonight he's going to focus on uh, this deep relaxation exercise, uh, which is one of the core things I, I would su suggest um, as a prelude into any meditation practice that has particular application in uh, pain relief and pain management, pain transformation. So again, Murray, uh, welcome and thank you and over to you. Thank you, Ian. Thank you for that lovely introduction. Um, Ian did say earlier that um, you may like to do this practice lying down um, and you may fall asleep. And maybe that's a, 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 maybe a measure of my success. If I can send you all to sleep tonight, that might be a great outcome. So perhaps that will happen for you. I don't know. Um, so thank you, Ian. Thank you for that lo lovely introduction. And ju just briefly, yes, I was introduced to meditation many decades ago now when my father uh, had uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and uh, uh, was sort of looking for ways to support my father. He was a scientist, an agricultural scientist, so he's kind of had a strong fixation on the value of science and medicine as a, a way of healing. Um, and I guess we did our best to introduce him to meditation as a as an alternative or as a, as a su supplementary uh, mechanism to help his health and healing, uh, and and we rolled along to hear Ian Gawler speak all those years ago. So I was about nineteen, I think. So that's as I say, that's more more than four decades ago. So it's a long time. Um, sadly, did, Dad didn't take to meditation. He loved fishing, and I think that was his meditative retreat. Um, but I've been practicing on and off. Uh, for, for that, that many years. And I, I guess I would say, as probably you have experienced yourself, the more frequently you do your practice, the better you feel. And when you have those moments in your life when you go, you neglect it for some reason or another, the, often the, the consequence is that you feel less well or less able and you, perhaps you're a, a lesser version of yourself. So 
But let's let's talk about this um, deep like deep relaxation, the progressive muscle relaxation technique. Um, and, and but but also just to position it really as as a strategy or as an antidote for pain, for the suffering of pain. And just to talk a little bit about pain, um, it, it's important to appreciate that pain, of course, is simply a signal. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a warning to you as an organism that something is wrong and that you should attend to it. Uh, and that your response to pain is hardwired in you. You can't, it's very hard to kind of ameliorate your response to a sudden impact of pain. You simply react. So that's kind of a natural way of being. It has a survival benefit, of course. Um, but, but sadly, one of the aspects of the human condition, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, familiar with too, is that there's a second aspect to pain, and that is our psychological response to pain. So an event occurs, um, it has an impact on us, um, but then we start to think about it, and that's also quite immediate. It, it's really only moments between the event and you starting to think about the event and the consequences of the event and perhaps beginning to even catastrophize about the outcome of this event if it's an unwanted and painful experience. You know, what does this mean for my life? Will I no longer be able to do this? Will I no longer be able to do that? How does this change my experience of life? This isn't what I wished for. I don't want it. I would prefer it wasn't here. I would like it to go away and so on and so on. Uh, and that that kind of um, psychological response can actually increase your experience of the painful event itself. It can make things worse in a kind of negative spiral. <clears throat> the Buddhists have a nice parable about this, which I'm so sure many of you are familiar. They describe it as first arrow and second arrow. The first arrow, of course, is the event, the event that occurs, which you may have no control over whatsoever. It has an impact on you. But the second arrow that causes you pain and suffering is the one you fire yourself. So that's kind of a lovely uh, analogy, I suppose, about that the physical experience of pain and our psychological response to it. So the benefit of this practice, um, there's a couple of benefits. One is that it simply enables you to start to relax your body. And you may know there's a physiological uh, explanation of that too. So when you are tense uh, and in pain and tight in your body, it's likely that it's your sympathetic nervous system that is the system in play. It's your fight and uh, fright and f freeze response. When you start to relax, what you do is you engage your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the balancing mechanism. So they're both important uh, to us as organisms, but you need to rebalance and you need to have that parasympathetic nervous system engaging, which allows you to rest and to relax and to heal and to repair. So in the practice, as you move through a progressive uh, relaxation, you start to engage the parasympathetic nervous system. So it enables you to begin that experience of relaxation. So it's just kind of a, I think it's, it's quite a helpful frame to know that there's, there are a number of reasons for that having a benefit for you. But of course, meditation can take you a lot further than that. Uh, once you get to a, a more relaxed state, then you can start to develop this capacity to become a little distant from your pain, your experience of the pain actually changes. And ultimately, hopefully, by the end of a practice like this, you may find yourself in a deep sense of peace and relaxation, which fundamentally changes the impact of the painful event, even if it's continuing for you, which sadly it is for many of us, for some of the things that we suffer. So perhaps that's enough of the explanation. I'll just take a little drink of water. Let's, uh, let's begin the practice. So what I'd like to encourage you to do, as we always do when we begin our practice, is to take a few moments to settle into your position. So as I mentioned earlier, you may like to lie down if that's helpful for you and you'd like to make yourself comfortable that way, please feel free to do so. So just adjust your body a little so that your back is nicely upright. You can feel the support of the chair the backrest against you and just having your feet flat on the floor perhaps slightly apart and just cup your hands together or rest them on your thighs whichever is more comfortable for you whatever works best really and then when you're ready if you'd like to join me and just gently close your eyes and just begin to turn your thoughts inwards 
And remember that this is a time for a gaining balance and for experiencing deep natural peace. And remember to your intention. So just gently remind yourself why you're doing this exercise, its purpose. And then once you've done that, just aim to let go of any effort, any striving to make something particular happen. So let's just do this together now in an alert, but a relaxed way. And let's be curious and observe what happens. And let's start with the sensations in your body. So just begin now by moving your attention down to your feet. Really concentrate on your feet. Perhaps move them a little and really feel what they are like at the moment. Feel inside your feet. Get a sense of the sensation inside your feet. And now just contracting the muscles of your feet. Just feel the tension that comes with that contraction and then letting them go. Just feel the muscles relaxing, releasing. Feeling the muscles becoming soft and loose. Feeling it deeply, completely, more and more. Simply letting go. And then bringing your attention up to the calves. And see if we move our attention through the calves with a just gentle curiosity. No judgment, no commentary, just simple curiosity to notice how the calves are feeling in this particular moment. So even if you discover an area of soreness or pain, just simply notice that. Then let aim to let go of any judgment or commentary again. Just simply notice whatever sensations are in the calves right now. Simple awareness. Awareness of the feelings in the calves just as they are. And as we move our attention through the calves, maybe we notice some parts feel different to others. Perhaps noticing the sensation of fabric on our skin. A gentle breeze moving across the skin. So just with our gentle curiosity, simply noticing. And now we contract the muscles of the calves, just holding them for a moment, tightening them up, and then letting them go. Just feeling any tension dissolving and relaxing and releasing. The muscles becoming soft and loose. Feeling it deeply, completely. A natural feeling, feeling the letting go. And the thighs, again, just take some time to feel the sensations in the thighs. Noticing any differences in those sensations. Aware of the sensations in the thighs. And now contracting the muscles of the thighs, tightening them up, and then 
letting them go, feeling it all through, feeling it all through your thighs, your calves, your feet, warm and relaxed, soft and loose, more and more. Deeper and deeper. Letting go. Now the buttocks. Contracting the muscles. Lifting yourself slightly as you do. And then letting them go deeply, completely. And feeling it all through the hips, the pelvis, the genital area, all through. And sometimes it's helpful to imagine there's been a belt or a band around your hips that has just been loosened a little. Just relaxing and releasing. Really letting go. More and more. Deeper and deeper just simply letting go now the tummy contracting the muscles in front of the tummy and the lower back Bringing them together with a little bit of tightness and then letting them go. Feeling it deeply all through the tummy. Calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Deeply, completely, feeling it all through. Letting go. Now the chest, contracting the muscles, tight like a barrel, holding it for just a moment and then letting them go, just feeling it all through, feeling it through the front of the chest, the breasts, and around the side of the ribs, calm and relaxed, feeling it all through. And feeling it through the upper back and all through the chest. It's a natural feeling. Feeling the letting go, the ease of it all. And 
and there are the arms contracting the muscles all through your arms from the very top all the way down through your arms to your fingers and letting them go feeling like a wave of relaxation flowing down through your arms the upper arms relaxing releasing down around the elbows into the forearms the muscles softening and loosening relaxing feeling it in the wrists the hands the fingers the thumbs and you might notice a sense of warmth or, or tingling flowing down into the hands maybe a feeling of lightness just going with it going with it relaxing releasing letting go simply letting go Now the shoulders, contracting your muscles, perhaps lifting your shoulders up a little and your chin down, holding that tension for a moment and then letting them go, feeling it deeply, your shoulders dropping, relaxing, relaxing completely. And feeling it up through the throat and the neck, the muscles soft and loose, opening, softening, simply letting go. the jaw, contracting the muscles, perhaps tightening your jaw a little and then letting them go, feeling your jaw drop a little, feeling it deeply, completely The tongue soft and loose. It's a natural feeling. Feeling the letting go. And feel it up over the nose and through the cheeks. Calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Feeling the ease of it all. The natural ease of it all. Now the eyes contracting the muscles, 
closing the eyes firmly, holding it for a moment, and then just letting them go, just feeling it all through the eyes, almost as if the eyes are floating in their sockets. Feeling it deeply, completely, all through the eyes, letting go. And the temples, soft and loose. Feeling it around the ears, the back of the head, up over the top of the head, calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Just going with it. Going with it. Now the forehead. Contracting the muscles, frowning a little. And then let those muscles go. Feel your forehead smoothing out, softening, relaxing, calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. And feeling it all through, feeling it through the body and the mind. And feeling the ease of it all. The natural ease of it all, just simply letting go. Feeling it all through, through the body and the mind. through, calm and relaxed, calm and relaxed, just going with it, going with it quite effortlessly. Effortlessly, more than relaxed, letting go deeply, completely. Letting go. Letting go. Simply letting go.
And now it might help to take your attention to that point between the eyes, a little into the forehead. And notice there what's like a still, quiet center, a point of stillness. Maybe you notice it more particularly in the space behind the closed eyelids. So just holding your attention now, lightly in this point of stillness. And it is almost as if you can merge into this stillness. Relaxing. Releasing. Merging. Dissolving. Maybe even a sense of expanding into the stillness. Just simply letting go. Quite effortlessly. Effortlessly. Letting go. Letting go. Now resting in that stillness for a few moments. And if at any stage you notice your mind is wandering or becoming distracted, and as soon as you notice that, just gently and kindly bring your attention back to that point of stillness. Relaxing. Releasing. Merging, melting, dissolving, simply resting in that stillness for a few moments quite effortlessly, effortlessly, letting go. 
Just simply letting go. That's good. Good. And now, when you're ready, just gently open your eyes. Thank you, everybody. Maybe a few of you dropped off to sleep. Maybe it's the perfect time to drop off to sleep. Thank you, everybody.